So we're going to talk about orthopedic testing for osteitis pubis. Now from the outset, I want to say that orthopedic testing is very dangerous if you know you have OP. If you're in, you've got confirmed stage 1, 2 or 3 OP, you don't want to be performing orthopedic tests because essentially what you're doing is you're trying to aggravate and exacerbate and put pressure on your adductors and your groins to see if there are any symptoms present. If you're already experiencing symptoms and you know it for sure from the symptom checklist, then there's no need to be putting this extra pressure and risk aggravating your adductors. Orthopedic testing will only determine if you have OP. It won't help you determine what stage of osteitis pubis you're in. So only perform it if you're in an extremely early stage of OP and you're very unsure and the symptoms only come up every now and again and you're extremely unsure as to whether you got it or not so that we can pick up OP very early and nip it in the bud. Now there are three basic orthopedic tests that we like to use. This one is a palpation test, the next one is a squeeze test and the final one is a Faber's test. Now these three tests go in order of how much they aggravate the groin. So if you do the palpation test and you get back positive symptoms, that essentially means that you have OP, there's no need to progress to the next two tests. If the palpation test comes back negative, then you move on to the squeeze test. If that comes back negative, then you finally move on to the Faber's test. Now, a positive signal or a positive result would mean that you have OP. And what we're looking for is a reproduction of some of the symptoms that you think you might be experiencing. So if you've been occasionally getting a dull ache and you think you might have developed OP and you're not sure, what doing the palpation test will allow you to do is it should bring on that dull ache or something, a symptom similar to it which should enable you to go, oh, that's the symptom. Oh, okay, I've got some very early stage OP and it's only coming up every now and again when I'm running. That's what we want from a reproduction. It's not going to be very useful if you're, say, trying to figure out if you have a groin strain or not. Um, a palpation or a squeeze test isn't going to help differentiate that in a differential diagnosis. You would be using symptom history and a few other things to determine that. Uh, this is only really good for osteitis pubis and chronic injuries. Now, essentially, if you can go through all three of the tests and you're not eliciting any OP symptoms, you likely don't have OP or you have extremely early stage OP, which is not coming up in these tests. Um, and if that's the case, you're probably going to want to either get in contact with us or with another professional and to get some treatment um, and to just monitor the situation to see if the symptoms get any worse or not. But it's very hard to diagnose at such an early, early stage. So keep watching, continue watching to learn more about OP and its causes and what you need to do to fix it. And yeah, hopefully this, this video has helped you diagnose whether you've got OP or not.